In this video, we'll walk you through how to create pages in Canvas. There are many ways that you can create pages. You can just go straight to pages. That's one way to do it. I like to do it through modules where I set it up where every week uh, there's a page. Um, I'll show you my example overview in just a second. Um, and I just keep adding pages to the individual modules. And we had already talked about how to create modules on another video. So I'm just going to go to this module and I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to say create page example page 2021. So fancy. And then I'm able to go in and click the edit button and I'm able to add whatever I would like on my page. So welcome to And then you can go in and if you needed to add um, insert images, you could. If you wanted to um, link it to something that students may need to watch, or if you need to um, connect to media or documents, um, lots of different things that you can insert into your particular page. And so what I recommend for everyone when you're starting with pages, because this is so new here in Canvas um, with the edit, editing features, and you can see it right there, this is another way that you can go and upload images and documents as well. Um, and then if you're using uh, Canvas Studio, you would go here. Um, so you're, you're able to go in there. And I'm, let me show you. Um, one particular page that I have already started for you. So you can see that I have the example overview start here. And so on this page, I just walked the students, you know, I'm going to pretend that they are doing certain things that, that we need to do. Um, so let's do this week's topic. I'll put survive. I don't want it to be quite as big so I can highlight it. You can see that I can, you know, whoops, uh, make it a little smaller. I don't want it to be bold. And then we're also going to thrive this week. And then update from Dr. N. This could be like an announcement. It could be just a short uh, few words that you want to say to the students. So once again, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then this is something that I want them to, to read and watch. And so um, let's say that I am going to uh, connect to Canvas Studio. So it will pop up videos that I have in here. And let's just say, let's just choose this one here. So it'll embed. You could also, um, if you're using Canvas Studio, you could also do Studio and do a new like link um, and add like a YouTube link in here as well. And it'll pop up if there's like a, uh, a video or from YouTube that you would like. And then the to do. So like the, here, I linked it. Let me remove this link here so I can show you. I went right here to the weekly discussion and what I did was I did a course link and I went, oh, here's my discussion and here is the example that I could do here. Um, same thing with weekly assignment. I could go up here to assignments. Let me highlight it here, what I want them to say and there we go. If you have, um, let's see, they have uh, read this article. Let's just say that I had an <clears throat> article in a file. Then I could just go up here. I can upload the document or if it's already in the course. Let's just say I want them to read this particular thing. So you're able to add lots of different things in here to pages. Um, so definitely encourage you to use pages. Like I said, I do an, uh, 
kind of an overview. So module one or week one and, you know, August the 23rd through the 31st start here. So students know what to expect every week. You can also go in to uh, your pages and see all the pages that you have and you're able to organize. You can see this one is published because um, that's one thing that we talked about in modules is making sure that your pages are published. So anyway, I hope this helps you as you are creating pages in Canvas. Thanks.